Your CBS 46 News update. Good evening, I'm Sean Gables. For a second time, the iconic Krispy Kreme in Atlanta catches fire this evening. Video shows firefighters putting out the flames at the restaurant on Ponce Avenue. The fire now out, but the cause is unknown. Shaquille O'Neal owns this Krispy Kreme and had vowed to rebuild. A federal judge rules he will not block part of Georgia election law, at least not for now. The decision is ahead of next week's two state house district runoffs. The ruling comes down on one of eight lawsuits targeting SB 202. Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger says this is the first of many victories to come for State Bill 202. Right now, Georgia Power has crews on standby. They are monitoring and tracking Tropical Storm Elsa as it moves across the state, watching carefully for any major outages. If there is severe damage, we're told some metro crews may head to the coast to help out. And keep tabs on Elsa's every single move with the free CBS 46 streaming app. You can get live weather updates and customized alerts sent directly to your smartphone. Download it from the Apple Store or Google Play. And Elsa's biggest impacts will be along the coast, but we are going to see some of the outer rain bands make their way through North Georgia off and on tonight. It's not going to rain all night. It's not going to be incredibly uh, heavy or last for a long period of time, but we will see passing rain and storms off and on tonight as we drop to 70 degrees. Tomorrow, Elsa will be out of the picture as far as Georgia is concerned, but we still are going to keep it fairly unsettled and humid with deep tropical moisture in place. So although Elsa is not going to impact our weather tomorrow, we still have a 60% chance of rain in the afternoon, both Thursday and Friday. Speaking of Thursday, waking up to the low 70s, not expecting rain in the morning, but by the afternoon, we will see showers and storms. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.